Hello friends. In the previous session, what I have done is that I have derived an expression for the inductor current in a source-free RL circuit. So this was the expression, right? So IL of T is equal to IL0 e power minus R by L into T. Now let us do an intuitive analysis of this particular expression. Now intuitively, you can clearly see if I put a graph here now, let me put a graph between T and IL of T. Alright? So you know that at T is equal to 0, the value of IL of T will be IL of 0, right? So it is IL of 0. Now, as the time T increases, because it is an exponential curve, how will the curve vary? The curve will vary something like this. This is going to infinity. At T is equal to infinity, IL of 0 e power minus infinity will be equal to 0. But then we cannot show infinity in the graph, right? Alright. Now, let me do one thing here. IL of t equal to IL of 0 e power minus r by 2L into t. There are many ways to look this what I have written. Let us think that I have increased the inductance value two times here now. Okay. Now when I increase the inductance value two times, what will happen? The inductor is able to store more amount of energy. Right. Therefore, it will be able to supply current to the circuit for a longer time. So what will happen to this curve is that the decay process will be slower. Alright. So the slower means the curve will shift to right. Right. See it will go like this. The decay process will be much slower. It will continue like this. The exponential curve will shift to the right. Now let me take another expression here. I of t is equal to I L of 0 e power minus 2 r by L into t. Now how this curve will look like? Now I have increased the resistance two times and inductor value is same. So as compared to this first case, the resistor will dissipate more amount of energy, right? It will dissipate more amount of energy and the current is seeing more resistance. Therefore, the current will drop at a faster rate. Naturally, it will drop at a faster rate. Therefore, how the curve will go? The curve will drop at a faster rate as compared to this one. So if I put this as expression one, this as expression 2 and this as expression 3, this will be the curve for expression 1, this will be the curve for expression 2 and this will be the curve for expression 3. Now, there is another interesting thing which you can note here. If I put e power minus r by 2l, right? Now, this time is going to increase, right? Let us look at what happens at 2t. At 2t, the circuit becomes like this and the expression is now again minus r by l into t. That means this particular curve, okay, this particular curve at 2t will resemble the curve number 1. Alright, what is the curve number 1, the property of the curve number 1, that will be resembled at 2t. Okay, now that is another interesting conclusion from this. But the important thing that you have to note, which you have to note here that if you are either re reducing the resistance or increasing the inductance, the curve will shift towards the right because it will take a more time to decay. And if you are increasing the resistance, alright, or decreasing the inductance, the curve will shift to the left, which shows that the decay is at, at a much faster rate. Alright. Now, let us make some mathematical uh, interesting concepts out of this particular curve here. Alright. Now, friends, I have put out this curve here. Alright. Now, for mathematical simplicity, let me do one thing. Let me take this expression and convert it into IL of t divided by il of 0 equal to minus e power minus r by l into t. Therefore, this graph I am going to do between il of t divided by il of 0. So, at t is equal to 0, in the initial case we wrote it as il of 0, right? So, let me rub that and I will put now 1. At t is equal to 0, il of t divided by il of 0 is equal to 1 and at t is equal to infinity is going to be uh, what? It is going to be 0. Alright? Now, in the previous session, if I had drawn the other graph, right, I have drawn another graph which was something like this. Now, in this case, you can tell that the width of the green curve is twice the width of the uh, rose curve because in that case, I had put 2L here, right. But the problem here is that this curve will end at infinity. So, how can you tell the width concept here? Because the curve is extending till infinity, we cannot analyze the circuit till infinity, right. So, for analysis, Rather than taking all this width, what we do is that we find the initial rate of decay. Okay. 
Now, why we have to take initial rate of decay? The reason why we take initial rate of decay is because in the exponential curve, the decay ch changes continuously for every point. See, the decay at this point might not be the decay at this point. Therefore, for our simplicity of the analysis and defining certain terms, we will take the initial rate of decay, which if continued, the current will fall to a zero value. So what I mean to say is that I will take this point here and I will take the slope of this curve at that point. When that continues like this, at this point, the current equal to zero. And the time at which that happens, let me call it as time tau. Okay, let me call that as time tau. Okay. Now, so I want to find at the rate of decay at this particular point, right? So my expression is IL of t divided by IL of zero equal to minus e power minus r by L into t. Now I want to find the rate of change of IL of t by L of zero at time t equal to zero. How will you find the rate of change at a particular time? You take the derivative. So you take the derivative to find the rate of change. So d by dt of IL of t divided by IL of zero, okay, at what time? At time t equal to zero is equal to the derivative of this, right? So the derivative of this will be minus r by L e power minus r by L into t at t equal to zero. So at t equal to zero, if I substitute this here, e power zero is equal to one. Therefore, I will get minus r by L. So this particular line has a slope of minus r by L. Why it is called slope? Because it is a rate of change, right? And in this case, if I write the expression of slope, which is delta y by delta x equal to minus r by L. Okay. Now what is delta y here? Now y2 will be zero and y1 will be one. So zero minus one, I'll put here. And y2, x2 is tau and x1 is um, zero. So tau minus zero equal to minus r by L. Therefore, tau is equal to L by R. And what we call this tau is equal to L by R, I'm sorry. And this is called the time constant of the circuit. Time constant of the circuit. In this case, it is an RL circuit. We will define a time constant for a RC circuit also. Now, what is this time constant? This is the time at which if the curve continues at its initial rate of decay, the current will become zero. Okay. So this time tau is corresponding to the initial rate of decay. All right. And this is the time at which the current becomes zero if the initial rate of decay continues. All right. So now let us uh, take some interesting conclusions out of this. So let me substitute here IL of t is equal to, let me take the old equation, IL of zero e power minus r by L into t, right? So let me just rearrange it to get, I'll just write it like this, t divided by L by r to write the time constant. So this will be equal to IL of zero e power minus t by tau because tau is equal to l by r i can write the expression like this this is my il of t okay now now that we have got the value of il of t which is equal to in terms of time constant e power minus t by tau let us find what is the value of il at tau okay il at time tau is equal to il of 0 e power minus tau by tau which is equal to IL of zero e power minus one. And therefore IL of tau is equal to IL of zero into 0.3679. E power minus one is equal to 0.3679. What does this mean? It means that time t, I am putting here, this is IL of t, at time t is equal to IL of zero. IL of t at time t is equal to IL of zero. It will follow the exponential curve. We already know that. What I am telling is that at the time constant tau, if I put the value like this, at time tau, the value of IL of t will be 0 0.3679 times the value of IL of 0. All right. Now, in some case, if somebody asks you, you have a curve like this t, and this is IL of t, this is IL of 0. Okay, and you have got the curve. If somebody asks you to find the time constant of the circuit graphically, what you can do, you find the value of, you put 0 0.3679 times of I of 0, IL of 0. You produce the graph like this and the corresponding time will be the time constant. All right. Now at 2 tau, the value will be further reduced. 
at 2 tau the current value will be further reduced and that is approximately equal to 0.14 IL of 0 all right so in this particular session we have learnt the exponential nature of the RL circuit of the inductor resistance circuit and we have also defined a new term which is called the time constant which is very very important for transient analysis. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. From the next lecture onwards, we will be doing problems on source free RL circuits. So please like, share and subscribe this video and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.